In this episode, we will try to deconstruct the most common guitar effects pedals in separate modules. Let's start with the tremolo effect. The output of VCV rack is connected to an amplifier to sound more like the real thing. The effect is about changing the volume of the signal over time. In the modular world, is as simple as linking an LFO to a VCA. The pedal effects has the option to change the shape of the envelope. We can try the triangle, the saw, and the square ones. In the scope, we can see the LFO signal in cyan and the sound signal in magenta. With the saw and the square shape, the LFO generates some clicks. And slew module can soft the pronounced shapes. We will try to recreate a delay effect. AS signal delay is almost all that we need. It's not like the pedal effect, it just generates latency, like when you have a cheap sound card. We have to create a feedback. But because it's delayed, is not like the typical annoying audio feedback. It's more like an endless loop. If you see the mixer, its output goes both to the sound card and to the delay module input. Then, the output of the delay goes to the second channel, meaning it comes back to its input. That's what feedback is all about. So, first you create an endless loop, and then you have to decrease the feedback, if you want fewer repetitions. To create a shimmer reverb, we just need to put a pitch shifter, in the middle. Bidu's H, C, T, I, P, is raising the signal one octave up. Due to the feedback, the repetitions becomes increasingly high-pitched. To make a kind of chorus, it's like we did with the tremolo. In this case, the LFO slightly modifies the pitch. We are using Nishthi's STK pitch shifter. The shifted signal is mixed with the dry one. Now it's time for the wah wah effect. I don't have an expression pedal, so let's move it, again, with an LFO. Basically, it's made of a variable frequency of a band pass filter. In this case, the XFX, F35. Now let's try to get the auto wah effect. Instead of using the foot to change the frequency, the auto wah reacts to the amplitude of the signal. That's what an envelope follower does. We are using the one from Entrian. I think it's more than enough for today.
I'm sorry for all the noise. See you in the next video.